In this video, I wanted to show you how you can create 3D ebooks and box covers. It's in at a website called 3D pack.com. Now, as you see here, you can use book, CD and box, 3D box, CD box, and DVD box. Okay, so when you click on the different things, it has different template sets you're going to have to create. Basically, you're going to create a just a regular image and then it, you can create a box from those images okay so as you see different ones need different things here okay so let's go to CD and box okay you can use this template to prepare your images for the CD okay so if we click on that it opens up a template now what we can do is save this I'm gonna save this to my computer okay and then I'm going to open this up with an image program I'm not going to go too much into this but I'm going to put some round writing on here and I'm going to use the free paint.net program and I'm just going to open what I just downloaded here okay now what I want to do is I want to go up to layers and add new layer you do everything in layers with an image program. Now I'm going to go to effects and stylize or and uh, text formatting and we're going to go down to spiral text. Okay and it brings up a window like this and you put your text in here so I'll put my test CD. Let's move this over a little bit here okay and you'll see that there it is there okay so you can mess around uh, with the settings until you have it looking the way you want okay so just as a quick for instance I'll save this we'll just save it as a JPEG okay just like that and then we can go back here and back to the program okay now we can choose the disk okay and you could also create a box for it here I'm just going to go with the with the disk now I'm going to click create here it's going to render it for us take a minute Okay, so here it is. Now you can put your mouse on it and you can drag it around under whatever angle you want. Okay, and then you can save it here in whatever format you want. Let's save it as a JPEG. Okay, here it is. Now if you right click on it, you can save the image. Okay, and then when we go to our folder, okay, here's our new box. Okay, so that's a quick demo of how you can use the 3D box creator.